to uh, 116 to have functional uh, debug mode developer tools so you could change parameters and such like you could on 112 and I really had to sleep I mean a number of reasons that I just couldn't get up in the middle of the night and do it and so I stewed about it last night for a good few hours and uh, this morning I woke up and decided that I would go ahead and try some of the things that I'd thought of turned out right up front nothing major um, I kind of stumbled across a couple things that I didn't mean to, and I broke a couple things, but uh, in the end, I think you're really going to like what I did, and I'm going to show you what I did here. So, we have the installer for, let me make this a little more legible. Okay, so this is the 112 installer, and this is the 116 installer, official right from DJI's website. I have not modified either. And I brought along an MD5 checking tool so that we can check some file hashes so that you'll see what I'm talking about. So basically, I've got the Spark on and it's next to me over here. Let's go ahead and open up uh, profiles. Now I have two installed. This one is 112, this one is 116. So if we go into 112, just a sheet here. Of course, everyone knows about you know how to mod 112. That's not anything uh, special anymore, really. Uh, like the console is kind of nice if you're going to debug some issues, which I actually ended up using just a little bit. Okay, so we all know about what's over here. Okay. I managed to get basically 95% of what's here onto 116 and functional. So now with my, with a couple plugins I'm missing, I need to uh, debug and figure out which ones those are. But I'll tell you up front, my experience with electron based apps, zero. I am debugging this and figuring stuff out on the fly as I go with my previous programming experience uh, and just some general uh, common sense and knowledge and things like that. So I th this is kind of like all new territory for me, but I wanted to see if I could do it. So let's get out of that and let's go into uh, 116. Now the only file I've modified is uh, the app.asr file. For 116. That's it. I pulled in bits and pieces from 112 uh, and I had to modify a couple lines, but uh, basically app.asr is the only file that's changed. So I'll show you what, what we're looking at now. Okay, now you notice we have new things up here. Development Tools has a couple new things here, which is really strange. I'm not sure what all this is. Uh, but it's there. Uh, ground station, I had it working and I don't remember what I did. I'll have to go back and see if I can fix that. So I'll get that. Auto test, I have yet to be able to get it to work. Um, I'm not sure what all it requires. Um, remember, I'm still trying to figure out anything electron based. So what we do have is hard coded to one and true. So I don't have to change that. Get out of that, enlarge this a little bit, and look at that, all here. Now, some of you may remember that uh, what some of these things look like, uh, dashboard, okay? It's all here, as far as I can tell, it all works. Uh, DJI device, landing gear, DRDKs, uh, choosing gimbal types, so far, it seems pretty good. The one that you guys really wanted, parameters, and check that out. They're here. They're here. Uh, it looks like there may be some issues with how they're defined, but they're here. The values are here, but their uh, their text 
counterparts seem not to be. And I will have to figure out, if I can, where that even is. But the values that you want to modify and everything are pretty much all in here still. So, uh, other things, ultrasonic is there, DOF is here, uh, tools, flight data, channel pieces, backup, shutter, IMU calibration, uh, vision simulator, real-time flight data. I'm not sure how accurate that even works. I've never got that to work for me, but uh, SDK pieces, FPV live videos. See here, there's a plugin that I can't find. Uh, I'll need to figure out where that is. And then you're back to the same top five, uh, plus the simulator, black box, uh, firmware update, and there shouldn't be one. Okay. And it still works, it still looks, it still finds it. So here's what happened. Let's do an MD5 hash of this. So there it is. I'm going to install 116 to a new directory. And it doesn't want to let me do it. Okay, so temporarily we're going to do this 1.2. Yes, which also means that <clears throat> my 112 pointer, you know, system 2, 1.1.2, DJI system 2, 1.1.2. Uh, well, that doesn't really matter a whole lot. DGI Assistant 2, 112. Oh, I'm sorry, I put it in the wrong place. That would be on me. Firmware Files x86. Target is assistant two. So then I want to take this. This microphone's getting on my nerves here. And starts in assistant two, which is simply this. Get out of here. Always on top. Okay. So let's go ahead and install to right here is going to be the new 116 so that we can compare file hashes. So new text. Okay, so we don't need to launch it. This is the modded one one six. And the stock one one six. So if we go in here, DJI Assistant Two, we'll use Windows so we can see a little bit better here. Okay, so now we're going to check using here, copy, paste. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the original, copy it, so just in case we can see it, and it is a match. So nothing in the EXE changed. It's not in here. It's in the app.asar file here. 
and I did I did end up changing one line. Uh, one one six. Okay, so the modded one. One true, nothing about factory enabled. So we can close that out and look at that. It's all here. Like I said, I need to get parameters down and figure out why they're not completely working. But this is a huge step forward. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else is working on this or not. I'm going to contact a few of the other uh, developers that are working on other uh, Spark hacks and software like Dumbledore and Math Proxy User. Uh, Thing, uh, people like that see if we can uh, get something moving forward a little bit here but basically this is extremely close and I'm not going to put out files or anything for this quite yet I don't want I want to make sure that this stays under wraps until uh, we get something working so that DJI doesn't go in and patch it uh, so that this slight workaround isn't available anymore. Uh, they may or may not be able to. Honestly, if they did something with the EXE, then this would probably be rendered moot. But I'm not going to say exactly what I did. So uh, I will simply say that within my virtual box here, I have quite a bit of work done, uh, ASR files for both 102 and 116, and I've been working on this for a while, multiple iterations. Uh, but again, it absolutely does work. So <clears throat> with that, I hope you guys liked the video. This is kind of a taste of what's hopefully to come. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in hopefully a much better celebratory update on getting dev tools and everything working on DJI Assistant 116. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.